Oh, uh, what have I done? Hey everyone, call me crazy, but I actually did it. I went out and bought a thousand dollar Apple stand with a big ass computer attached. God, it's so annoying. How do I take this thing off? Oh, <laughs> yes. Shaboom, and it's time for another Funky Monday video. We get updates on you, me, and everything funky. And it is a much more funky day today than it was last week. Yeah, if you missed it, the old MacBook Pro blew up after playing Minecraft, of all things. I tell you, those creepers are getting powerful. The MacBook Pro would always fail when it's trying to fill up this meter. But the iMac, she's got it covered. I hope. Oh, thank gravy. I tried pulling out the hard drive, getting a fresh one from the Terminator. Unfortunately, it became self-aware and dominated itself. And you know, John Connor actually told me that shouldn't be technically possible, but anyway. I checked the thermal paste job I did, cleaned it off and reapplied it. Unfortunately, again, it became self-aware and attached itself to this man's shoe. Haven't seen it since. And apart from all the Terminator references, I even tried all the yoga techniques to reset all the settings, load it in recovery mode, boot it from an external USB, uh, internet recovery, nothing, nothing works. By the way, thank you very much for all your technical suggestions, everyone. Some people recommend checking out Lewis. Uh, other people recommend looking at Louis or Lewis and Louis, 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 Louis. Actually, everyone did that. And you know, I totally would, if only he were in the same hemisphere. Anyway, I had a look at Louis's videos and I haven't actually found the one about the MacBook yet. Must be in season two. Anyway, I probably will be sending this bad boy in to Apple just to see if they can specifically diagnose what the problem is and how much they would charge the repair if they can. But uh, yeah, don't, don't hold your breath for that because uh, Apple on the phone said, uh, get a new one. And the MacBook itself said that there's nothing wrong with it and what am I talking about? Oh well, but that all brings us to the Macalicious 2.0. Check it out, it's a 2013 iMac, which means it should last at least one more year. A beautiful 27 inch display. Now this is pre-retina, but you know, my eyesight isn't the best, so if I just lean back, I can't tell. 3.5 gigahertz i7, 32 gigabytes of RAM, two gigabytes of graphics, and a 256 gigabyte SSD. Oh, no, sorry, it was advertised as having an SSD, but when I got it home, I realized it has a fusion drive. So to that little mix up, I take umbrage. But apart from the umbrage, I'm pretty happy. You know, it just went from a really good deal to a pretty fair deal. I paid just over a thousand Australian dollars for it, which is about 730 American. But you know, considering the stand alone is worth a thousand, uh, it's a pretty good bargain. Speaking of bargains, it does remind me a little bit of that $150 deal we got last year on that 2009 iMac. Kinda wish I still had that one. Anyway, it does seem as though uh, things are a little bit thinner than last year. Seems as though the computer is thinner than last year. Thank you. Hmm. Anyway, enough of my beautiful face. You wanna know just how powerful this is. Sam, give me the numbers, give me the stats. Well, for that, we need to load a little program called a sign bonge. Okay, so if you don't know, uh, this is a program that stresses your computer by uh, rendering a very complex HD image. And I do believe the next version of Sign Bonge is actually gonna get a little bit tougher and it'll make your computer render a full news website with all of the ads enabled. So make sure you take out your Apple Care before you attempt that one. Nothing like a Sign Bonge. I wonder whose house this is. Okay, ooh, looks like we're in the middle of the pack. 1,722 points. That's interesting, the old MacBook Pro got um, insert number here and the uh, 2009 iMac got so this is actually the most powerful of all the computers we've had so far, apart from the PC, but we're not in the master race yet. Well, thank you for your assistance, Sainbonge. But now, just, just, I said thank you. Stop asking for anything extra. Programs are so needy. Anyway, enough about me and the MacBook pro -alicious. Let's get into your, well, the MacBook, it's not pro -alicious. It's just, it's just, hang on, I'll make it pro. Oh, the editing is so powerful, it's now pro. Let's get into your community news. Oh. Oh, first of all, big thank you and shout out to the people who threw us a couple of bucks to go towards the new Macalicious, uh, Trent, Tao, Mafid, and Eswara. Those names sound a little made up, but that's fine. Um, and also new funky patriots who have jumped on Patreon 
pledgins like the legends they is. Uh, recent funky patriots, Esther, Chris, and Manuel. I have read the Manuel and they're a great person. Anyway, onto the, onto the community news. It's just me commented, who's watching this after the MacBook Pro died? Oh yeah, that little fix that I did to the MacBook. Look, I swear that had nothing to do with it. it all right, maybe the pliers might have had something to do with it. Ah, Baptiste knows what's going on. You didn't put it in funk mode. That random guy knows that it's the fault of the vaccines. I should have known. Oh, here's some news. Holly says it's actually a feature to let you know that it's time to buy a new Mac. Oh, thanks, Tim. Hello, hello. Genius Elon Musk has sorted it all out. It was T-Series. The YouTuber Lardy is still after me. Cesium says, sorry about the dislikes, it was my mum's friends. Aha, so that's where they're coming from. Uh, big thanks to everyone who did watch that My MacBook Blew Up video. The funny thing is, is that that video, which has no editing, no music, no cuts, no nothing, actually performed a lot better than a lot of the parodies that I scripted, chopped up, added music to, edited for hours on end. So uh, <laughs> that's what I've been doing wrong this whole time. Effort. Well, that won't be happening anymore. And now it is time for this week's certified funky stamp of approval, which goes to Brian, or more accurately, Brian's Apple genius friend who booted up a bunch of Sam time at the Apple store. That's right, if we can't get Sam Time's computers to turn on, we can turn on Apple's computers with a little bit of Sam Time. And to see if they win a Sam Time Sexy Sign Support card, let's shoot an egg. <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Egg Sports, a fun little game where never in recent history has Sam ever hit this freaking egg. And oh my god, he's done it! Yes! Sam's got a trip to make to the post office. Uh, you don't need that much swagger. Your hit rate's not been that good. Oh, well, how about that, huh? It is a funky week. Must have been the special lucky jumper, I think. Available at funkytime.tv. <laughs> anyway, I am thinking of getting a little revenge on the creeper that blew up the laptop. Let me know, should we live stream that? Or should we pre-record those and release them in episodes? Or should I just record a big lot, edit it down into one super duper video? Or should we do all three? Oh gosh, I don't know, just vote in the poll. If you feel like voting, vote, vote for something, why not? But until next time, this is Sam Tucker saying, escape the ordinary and embrace the funky, aw, oh, and everything's gonna be all right. Thanks for watching everyone. Sam time, shining off. Subscribe today. All right, now to get to some actual work. Poop. And this episode was brought to you by the Funky Patriots, unlocking the funk on Patreon. They're so hot. Funk it down. Until next time, escape the ordinary, everyone, and embrace the funky. And stay funky. Boop. Wondering whether we should live stream that. Let me know in the card. Vodka's just scratching the, the furniture a little. Yeah, shush, buddy. I'm a little busy, kid I.